Does this song kind of sound spooky? A little, like a little, little Halloween spookiness or something? Well, The Crucible has been pretty spooky lately. It's, uh, it's kind of a meme now. Like a big giant meme. Now, I'm not going to rant necessarily. I'm going to actually just discuss The Crucible and its current state. And I want to give you permission to be a meme as well. Now, I've made some videos recently on some pretty nutty builds. Unlimited Controverse Hold Asshole Warlock. The Busted Unkillable Grenade Spamming Hunter. And even a Titan build, which, I mean, kind of looks like a normal Titan build, but it can one-punch everyone with melee, and it can kill you in like 0.2 seconds with Randy's throwing knife. Now, there's a bunch of different builds, and there's a bunch of different things you can abuse, which I want to talk about, but it's okay to abuse these things, because everyone else is abusing these things. The game has devolved into a crutchy, weird, one-banging uh, cesspool, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Let's talk about it. Now, metas always change, and I can highlight that here on this screen. When a weapon gets nerfed or a weapon gets buffed, things shuffle around, people find the best guns, and eventually a new meta forms. It doesn't take me making a video about a gun to make it popular, because when you die to it over and over and over again, you start to realize, oh shit, maybe that gun's better than my gun. And you can see that happening like that. Within the first couple days, in the first weeks of a new season, you can see changes to the meta. Mida Multi-Tool is one of the most used weapons in PvP? What? What about Jade Rabbit? Ah! Guys, I haven't died to a Jade Rabbit all last season, and now it's one of the most popular guns being used? I haven't seen Mida since year one, and all of a sudden it's the second most used weapon? Explain that one. Well, it's because the meta shifted and these scout rifles are way better. Drastically better. And you could say, well, I don't like using those. I like using hand cannons. Well, guess what? Your spare rations? It's all the way down here. And maybe that's because of rarity, right? Maybe that's because of rarity. But Luna's Howl? Luna's Howl is all the way down here? What do you mean? That used to be one of the most popular guns in the game. It's all the way down here? Well, that's because it's not as good against these scouts and pulses. And you have to adapt. If you're using shit guns, you get destroyed. Well, guess what, boys? It doesn't even matter if you're using the best weapons. If you're not using the meme builds, you're gonna get destroyed. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna close this bad boy out, but before I do, make sure to donate all your RuneScape gold to me. I legitimately play RuneScape, and if you've got RuneScape gold hanging around, hit up the Tash Man. Thank you. Let's take a little look. Let's look at one little guy right here, my Titan. I mean, I've got my one-eyed mask. What a piece of shit. What a piece of garbage. But there's actually another mask here that's even more important. Well, I guess it's not so much the mask as the super. This guy, right here. Ward of Dawn. This is just one of the many characters that can make some nutty things happen. But the Sentinel is amazing at causing things to one-hit you or two-hit you. And you wouldn't think that that's a problem. And, and, and I mean, you could do this before with the well. But the thing is, is all of a sudden you take something like the Ariana's Vow and you make it a one-shot kill. And, and, and it's so effective, and there's no counterpoint to it, really, um, that it, it, it almost feels like a cheese. And this is like low on the totem pole of cheese. This is low on the totem pole of, of, of overall cheese, right? Um, Ariana's Vow is good, you know, you gotta, it's kind of like a sniper rifle, and you could do a lot of the things you do with Ariana's Vow with a sniper. And so is it that broken? Is it that busted? Maybe not. Probably not. But then, then you throw in a bow. Now I, I need to equip a bow. I, do I seriously not have a bow in my inventory? Let's Destiny Item Manager. Let's get a bow out really quickly. I'm sorry, I thought I was prepared for this damn video. I thought I had my other character. Really? You're not going to transfer over? There we go. Now you take a bow, and you put on, uh, where is it? 
quick access sling. And now, all of a sudden, you've created a broken set- well, not broken setup, it still requires some skill, but you've, you've created this setup that is so cheesy and almost uncounterable that, that if you're not using this setup and someone is abusing this setup and good with it, they win. So you put on quick access sling, you aim down sights with this bow, and then you instantly swap to Ariana's Val for even a body shot, and the player dies. It is like a bop bop instant kill build. And that's fine. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But you, you literally can't duel it, is the issue. You can't deal with it. It's too fast. It's too quick to kill you. And now you can say, well, I, I could snipe someone doing that. Yes, absolutely. I, you, you could snipe someone doing that. Someone sniping you could kill you instantly. Just like that. But with the ammo economy, I can abuse Ariana's Val and a bow over and over and over again in a game, and I can get I can get 35 kills of it with almost no counterplay. And if I'm using Ward of Dawn, it becomes even easier. I can just body shot everyone, right? And that's just one example of the memes. And then there's stuff like in in your <sighs> Kate Lord's Eye, like Thunder Coil, which allows you to get a one-hit melee kill on your striker type. You run up, you can use Syntheseps, and just punch someone, and they die. And then you can chain it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and one hit entire teams of people. And the counterpoint to that is, okay, well you gotta shotgun that guy, or you gotta put him down with your, your primary weapon before that. But with the lunge distance, and, and how nutty this can be, it, it's free kills. And there's going to be times where someone catches you off guard of this and they one hit you with a melee. And, you know, if they've got to charge up on a really powerful ability like a, let's say, let's say, handheld supernova and they one hit you, you'd expect that, okay, well they can't one hit anyone else for a couple minutes. Well they can. They can with all the cooldowns and with how this works. They can one hit over and over and over again. And so what ends up happening is instead of using guns, you make builds around broken shit like this, because as I said before, when metas change and guns become worse and guns become better, people will use the best shit possible. And the best shit possible isn't guns anymore, it's meme stuff like this. Thunder Coil is a better ability than almost any ability in the game right now. It is more effective than almost every gun in the game. And yes, you need to get close to your target. But there are so many lanes and avenues to get close to a target now. And even if you don't run in and kill four people with this, it's still so good in a 1v1 or a 1v2 engagement that it feels insane. And people are going to abuse it and they're going to use it. And some people are going to main it. They are going to run around doing a melee build. And that's fine. It's an RPG game. You do what you got to do. But it has become so strong. This, just one of them, has become so strong that if you don't use it, and you don't abuse it, you are almost at a disadvantage. Now someone like myself, this sounds so cocky, I know, but someone like myself, I, pl it's, I play this game for a living, right? I'm just gonna be naturally better than a large majority of people because I'm sitting here like <laughs> all day long, right? I can deal with some of this stuff, I've got the shot, I've got the movement. But the average player that's jumping in for an hour or two a day, if you're not using these things, you're going to get slammed in the face by titans punching you. You're going to get slammed in the face by warlocks, uh, handheld supernovaing, super, supernovaing, supernovaing, I can't tell, I can't talk today. Handheld supernovaing every 20 seconds. And you have to question yourself, are you going to adapt to it? Are you going to abuse it yourself? Or are you going to sit by and watch it happen? Right? The Titan. I can melee everyone. You can do this bow build. You can do that on anyone. Now let's quickly swap over to the, uh, the Hunter. Let me just jump back to the Hunter. Now the Hunter has a very similar but almost reverse order instant kill. And that is to get a headshot with Ariana's Vow. And then you instantly swap to the Duke just for a quick body. You can go for a headshot as well. But you go bop bop instantly using Lucky Pants. Now, the issue isn't 
one person abusing this, or me abusing this, I could probably get more kills with a primary weapon and a sniper than I can using this. This is a, a very trolly combo. And once you run out of ammo, well, you gotta go back to playing normal, right? I get that, I get that. The issue is when everyone starts using this stuff. The bow to Ariana's vow, the Ariana's vow to Duke on Hunters. When everyone is using this, Engagements stop happening on the map. You can't duel someone because they just go, yeah, yeah! And then you spawn and some other guy goes, ah! <laughs> and then you spawn again and a guy goes, ah! <laughs> and instantly kills you. And you can't actually duel. And it's frustrating because I'm really starting to see this happen. And it's not because of a YouTuber posting a video and me exposing this stuff doesn't make this happen. It's already happening. Metas form naturally, and maybe someone like myself can highlight things, but the reason I highlighted it is because it was already happening to me! This is just one thing you can do on a hunter that's busted. There's more of them. There is, uh, where, where is that high discipline build that I had going? Is this it? Boom. 32 second grenades. I've got two skip grenades using this, and when I do grenade energy, I get some back. I can also do, um, you know, some fun stuff with my with my cloak here. I can take off my discipline and do stuff like enhanced ashes to assets to get my super. I can do enhanced bomber, so every time I dodge, I'm getting my uh, grenade cooldown faster. You can have like 20 second grenades here and just spam them all game. Not even in mayhem. In mayhem, you can literally just go yeet, yeet, yeet. I mean, we shouldn't balance around mayhem, but even in regular crucible. I can make an almost unkillable build that you can't duel because I have so much grenade energy all the time. And that's fun. It's, it's a cool build. But there's even more busted stuff because you can throw on a bunch of Paragon mods, right? And then you can throw in something like the, uh, where is it? Like the Enhanced Bomber, and you can just dodge a whole bunch. Just dodge constantly. And... Get your grenades back. So even if you don't have discipline, you can get your grenades back fast. And then you can do, um, what is it? Oh, reduce all ability cooldowns when using your class ability. So you throw on one of those. There's so many ways that you can, like, almost instantly charge your super. We're talking like a minute, minute and a half, two minutes to get your super in a game when everyone else has taken six minutes if they don't have high intellect. You can do it in 35 seconds if you've got high intellect and you're abusing this. And, and that breaks the game. And there's so many of these. There's like 20 of these. And the Hunter is really bad for it. The way that some of the cooldowns work, the Hunter is brutal. And the better gear people get, and the more they can master work, and the more they can unlock these things, the more the game is devolving into a ability spamming, um, you know, cheese crucible. And I don't know if it's because I see it more than others, because I play more than others or what? But my God, the amount of people pulling off this brutal stuff with almost no counterplay is really getting on my nerves. Now let's talk about the stupid Warlock. Now I forgot to mention this one because I already talked about Arian's Vow a couple times, but the Warlock makes that even more busted because all you have to do is put down an empowered rift and one bang everyone. So Arian's Vow, on the Warlock is probably the easiest one-hit kill cheese, and they can hold down lanes with Ariana's Vow as long as they have their Rift. They can use something like the Stag to always have that thing on cooldown, and they can use Paragon mods to just be spamming Rifts and one-hit kills. And it's, it, it's, you can't really counter it. Yes, you could do the same thing with a Sniper, but the, the headshot radius on that thing is very forgiving. The Ariana's Vow is very forgiving, and so it's these low zoom, pretty much free headshot kills, and you can't do anything about it. If you walk into the sight line, you die. Now, with the Warlock, there might not be as many meme things, there's still some good ones, and you could use Controverse Hold and abuse it before. You could throw in a bunch of Discipline mods, you could already do this. but. Now, with some other things that have come into the game, it just adds to this effect and all of a sudden it becomes this optimal way to play. Instead of running around using your guns, you only use your guns to charge up your damn grenade and one hit everyone. And you get this on a 32 second cooldown, right? But you also get charges from your controverse hold when you use handheld supernova. 
So what ends up happening is the average time is probably like 15 seconds, because sometimes you almost always get it. And sometimes it's like, you know, it only gives you a little bit of cooldown, but you're probably at like 20 seconds per grenade if you didn't have any other cooldowns, but everyone pairs it with the Recluse and Anti-Barrier rounds. Well, why would you do that, Michael? Because again, again, this kind of busts the game. You've got the Ballistic Combo if you melee something and kill someone. You've also got the Breacher Factor. It grenades grenade energy on final blows with shield-piercing weapons. Well, anything that has Anti-Barrier is a shield-piercing weapon. And so people run around with Recluse getting kills, getting cooldowns on their grenades, and it's literally just handheld supernova, get a kill or so. With your Recluse, back to handheld supernova. And it's like devolved into this like... And the mountaintop, like that's, a, that's the thing too, is people pair it with the mountaintop, and they finish you with Recluse. And so even though, even though the mountaintop usage and the kills from the mountaintop, I don't have it equipped here, even though the kills from the mountaintop aren't out to lunch and they're not broken, the usage of the item is. It's getting used in a bunch of different games and people are running in, smashing you at the mountaintop and then switching to Recluse. Because even if they don't kill you at the mountaintop, they get the cooldowns with the Recluse and then they chain that Recluse and they start shitting on everyone else. And it's almost impossible to deal with a charged Recluse. And it's just like... It, it, it's just like, how fast can I kill you? What is the, the most... OP way that I can kill you? And and how frequently can I do that? That's what I'm gonna use. And that's what the best weapon is. And that's what the best build is. And the whole crucible is getting filled with this stuff. And it's it's like it's kind of fun. It's it's fun. When I can run in and I can neuter six people in a row with grenade energy because I just get an unlimited amount, or I punch six people in a row, it's fun. But it's starting to lose the charm on me. And dying to that stuff is starting to get frustrating. And I know that it's going to be a while until this gets balanced. And if you're not using this stuff, you might have noticed in the last couple weeks, man, I'm getting dominated. Well, it's time to start using it. Because if you don't use it and you don't abuse this stuff, well, you're going to get dominated. There is just better... Built. There is just better stuff than the average, than the norm. Everything you've been using for the last couple seasons, you don't gotta delete it, but it's probably not gonna be the meta, unless you're one of those people that's been using Mountaintop Recluse from the start! Maybe this is a rant, I don't know. But I'm warning you, I'm warning you, to look up some of these busted builds. Frostbolt has posted some, Aztacross has posted some, I've posted some. Go pick one up that looks fun and just use it. Because if you aren't, everyone else is anyways. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon.